Boston Celtics 2024-2025 Media Day with Brad Stevens, Head Coach Joe Mazzella, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Chris Tapps, Porzingis, and Jason Tatum. Check out the video. Well, I think anytime you bring in, you know, people at camp, obviously all the deals are a little bit different, but um, evaluate it and see how everything plays itself out, how it fits together, um, and how it all goes. But um, he's a guy that, um, you know, was um, very excited to be here. Uh, I think his relationship with Derek has worked out with Drew a lot in the summers, in previous summers. Um, and I think that there was a, um, an eagerness to be around those guys and to, um, to try a new situation. And so, um, you know, obviously he's got a lot of talent, done a lot of good things in the NBA. We'll see how it fits and plays itself out, and just like we will with all the other 21 players on the roster. We had, um, we had uh, Chris Stapps obviously had the surgery that was well documented after the year and um, seems to be recovering well. He's, he's very optimistic. I think, uh, I don't know that we're interested in putting a timeline on it because the injury is unique. Um, but as far as how he feels and the progress that he's made, I'd say we're very, very pleased with where he is um, and uh, maybe a little surprised. Um, uh, and then I'd say uh, Xavier had um, a knee scope in, in the end of July and is doing great and will be full go for practice tomorrow and, uh, and has been playing the last couple week or last week or so. And then uh, Luke, as many of you know, had the wrist um, operated on um, right after the season. Same thing, clear to play. And so those timelines matched up well with the start of the season, obviously with some big depth issues potentially. Um, so we're, we're fortunate and our training staff and those guys with the effort they put in to get back, have both done a really good job of building it up so that they're ready to go when we need them to be ready to go tomorrow. You know, the most important question that I wanted to know was like, who do I, who am I working with and how committed are they to the process that it takes to be good and how patient are we with going through the ups and downs of that process. And there, there are some painful times and the pain only increases when you're really good, right? It's not. It's not that bad when you're just kind of trying to figure out if you're any good, right? Um, and I would give, um, you know, Wick and Pags and, and Danny and everybody in here um, an unbelievable, um, you know, they've just been exactly what I thought when I came. And so the answer is I do think that it's important not to ride the roller coaster. It's important to evaluate things evenly. It's important to see it. Um, you know, listen to every perspective, but also do it without emotion. Um, and we've got a lot of good leaders in this organization, and it goes well beyond just the people that I mentioned. Obviously, you know, Zarin's been here 20 some odd years. Jeff, how many years have you been here now? 44th. 44th year. Like, we have unbelievable continuity at every every part of the organization, and I do think it it builds a pride, a responsibility, and you know, you you feel feel indebted to make it work for the person next to you. And that's a good thing. If you've got the right people in the room, obviously there's times where you don't, but um, we're lucky that we do. Well, those might all be different questions. I think I would say the first part is, is I, and, I, and I, I probably, I know I sound like a broken record maybe on purpose, is we want to be in the mix. You know, we want to have a chance. It doesn't mean you're going to win, um, but we want to be one of those teams that you can truly point at that says they have a chance, right? So, I mean, whether if we would have lost last year, our goal would be to win a championship this year. So I think just clearly stating we want to win a championship every single year. That's the goal, that's the standard, that's the expectation. So what happened in the past really doesn't change when we step foot in the building on this day, it's to win a championship. So that's always going to be the goal. And we just have to work towards that and have an understanding that um, there's a lot of things that go into it, and there's a lot of things that we can't control about it. But there's never going to be a media day, September 25th, October 1st, where it's not like, hey, we're trying to win a championship. And that's just that's the environment that we create, and that's that's the plan, that's the goal. But I would say that's yeah, there's a hundred greatness. Like you know, you don't know how long you're going to have this position, uh, and there's only 30 of them. And the one that is in my hometown and uh, my home area, and for a team with this type of responsibility and tradition is the ultimate gift and, I, and I'd say the biggest gift of this organization has been its alignment and its consistency 
Uh, there's ultimate alignment from top to bottom, there's high level communication from top to bottom, and there's a mental understanding of uh, going after greatness. You know, even in the, the, the years that I've been here where we haven't won, uh, our, our values, our demeanor, our decision making, nothing's changed. And so we come into every season with the ultimate alignment, and I think that allows people to just do their jobs at a high level, and I think that's kind of what, you know, we're fighting to maintain. Our number one goal, uh, one of my goals um, in being the head coach is making sure we maintain the consistent mindset and the consistent connection to the city of Boston, that the chip on our shoulder, the toughness, the expectation to winning. Uh, so I thought the uh, parade was kind of a culmination of that connection and making sure that we work on that uh, throughout. And um, that's it. I mean, I think I showed up at that training camp, so you guys can't really put together what, what happened, but like going into training camp. Um, but this year, I know for me personally, it's just chemistry. Um, I am here, and I know what my role is and what I'm going to do. And <clears throat> I feel like we have um, a lot of the same team. So um, we know that we're going to build chemistry. We're going to do it through uh, training camp and through most of the season. Um, and Joe will probably have to do some new crazy drills or whatever. So super excited for that. I think he just pointed out that uh, people are going to say that we're really good, and then at times people are say, going to say that, we're, that we suck. And uh, no, literally, I think that was word for word. But uh, we're, we're, we're people think we're going to be really good. People think that we're going to suck, but none of that matters. All that matters is that we take care of each other and we go out there every day and uh, do what we can for for the person next to us. Um, yeah, watch a lot of film. Work with been working with my trainer Drew a lot um, recently in the last few weeks. A um, few mechanical things, pick up points, um, hand placement, um, getting lower, um, you know, keeping my shoulders forward and things like that. Did you feel anything kind of go wrong in the playoffs in terms of those mechanics or did you kind of just go back and look at it over the summer and see them? Uh, yeah, I mean there's some things I, I could have fixed, uh, but just in the midst of the playoffs, um, and trying to manage, you know, your rest and, and things like that. Um, it's a little tough and you don't, you know, I was still playing well, just wasn't shooting the ball as well as I would have liked. And um, obviously we were winning, so, um, you know, it wasn't the time or the place to, you know, try to fix things in, in that moment. Especially the uh, Colorado. <laughs> um. Uh, well, my teeth are getting better. Um, I had to go to the dentist on Friday and got three root canals, so that was fun. But uh, yeah, I think I got to go like, one more time to the dentist and it should be done for good. But um, teeth are good. Um, honestly, the Colorado situation is unfortunate. Um, I never thought I'd be in that situation, honestly. Um, and I didn't actually get hit, he just hit my hat off. But um, yeah, should have been there. It's unfortunate. And just moving on. Um, so I didn't have to answer all the questions about it. Um, but yeah, I, lo I love being here, and um, me and my family are super excited to be here for a while. Uh, thank you. Uh, good to be back. Um, yeah, it was a rare injury. Um, got the surgery done right after right after the parade. And uh, then it was uh, three, four weeks or so, you know, kind of at home, hanging out, um, and then started, was able to start doing more in August. Now it's end of September already, been doing a good amount of stuff, feeling pretty good. And uh, yeah, looking forward to you know, keep making the the progress at this rate and, and hopefully be back out there with the guys as soon as possible. <laughs> That's how the season's going to go. <laughs> uh, so just just your 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 emotions overall, your feelings, are you carrying any of those feelings over to the new season in terms of what is motivating you to, to win again? I'm ready to go. Um, I'm excited about being back. You know, the past is the past, but I'm ready to, to get after it, you know, lead our guys, pick the guys, build some team chemistry. Um, not skip any steps and just set the tone for another year again. I'm, I'm extremely motivated for, for obvious reasons. I'm ready, I'm ready to get after it.
I'm only focused on what our organization is doing. You know, I could care less what, what's going on around the league. They're doing what they feel is best. Um, so I don't have really any feelings towards it, but yeah, it kind of seems like that, you know, from the outside looking in. But, you know, no thoughts, really. I didn't play in two of those games. That's what you mean? That's part of it, yeah. Uh, motivation. I guess, I guess you could say that and if you want to simplify it. Um, in real time, it was tough. Uh, but it's, uh, and Joe, I talk to Joe a lot. Joe was probably the happiest person <laughs> in the world that I didn't win finals MVP <laughs> and that I didn't play in two of the games in the uh, Olympics. So that was um, odd, but if you know Joe, <laughs> it, it makes sense. Um, did I need any extra motivation coming into the season? Uh, no, I don't. I, I wasn't, I'm not going to give anybody in particular credit that you know they're motivating me to come into the season. It was a unique circumstance, um, something that I wasn't having experienced before in my playing career, but uh, I'm a believer that everything happens for a reason. I was coming off a championship, the highest of the highs, and covered 2K, a new contract, and um, you know, then that happened, and whatever the reason is, I haven't figured it out yet, but um, I am a believer that everything does happen for a reason. Um, but it was a good experience. We won the gold medal, I won my second one. I was around some of the best players I ever played a game on a daily basis and built some friendships and, um, you know, was able to bring my family out there and enjoy the Olympics and as a whole. Um, so that was a, a plus for me for sure. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.